Hi, Jess. Good morning. And before we get to the study, I want to tell you about some big news coming from the FDA on the topic of these antibody testing kits. There's a home collection kit that has just been approved by the FDA. This is the first home testing kit to be approved. It is called the LabCorp Pixel by LabCorp COVID-19 uh, home collection kit. So that is huge and we're going to be following that throughout the day but back to this so when this usc study happened in early april there were 8,000 known cases in la county researchers believe up to 55 times that number could have been exposed researchers used serology or blood testing from 863 people throughout la chosen by a market research firm they tested for antibodies which indicate prior exposure to coronavirus and could mean immunity though that's been disputed Here's a breakdown of the study based on the first round of testing. An estimated 4.1% of the county's adult population does have the antibody to the virus per researchers. If adjusted for margin of error, that's up to 5.6% of adults or 440,000 people. Mayor Garcetti responding. That would mean that our mortality rate, which we've been measuring at about 4.5%, would be much lower. It would mean many more people have been exposed to the COVID-19 virus, but it would also mean that still more than 95% of us, if this study is representative, still do not have that, do not have any potential immunity and are still vulnerable to being able to catch this disease and die from it. Stanford's recent antibody study out of Santa Clara County produced similar results, though in that study up to 80 times the number of people could have been infected. Both the USC and Stanford studies pointed to a 0.2% death rate, which is more on par with the flu. I spoke to Dr. William Hazeltine about all this. He's a former Harvard professor who designed the strategy to develop the first treatment for HIV AIDS. That a positive antibody test does not mean necessarily that you are protected. These viruses are different from many, and that even if you raise antibodies to them, they may not protect you from reinfection. That's the first point. Second point is these tests may not may mean you've never been infected by this virus. You've been infected by a cold virus, and until we resolve those difficulties, I think people should not pay much attention to these results. We need far more detailed uh, analysis and we need more information. And there's been some criticism around both studies. Uh, they both use the same testing kit from a Minneapolis-based company, Premier Biotech, which apparently gets its test kits from China. Uh, USC says it's going to do more rounds of testing. This is just the beginning. You can expect much more in the coming weeks. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting live from the USC campus. I'll send it back to you.